हेलो 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 एंड अ वेरी वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू स्पोर्ट्स लूमो स्पेशल ओलंपिक सीरीज 50 ग्रेटेस्ट ओलंपिक मोमेंट्स फॉर इंडिया इन द ओलंपिक्स आई एम सिद्धार्थ विश्वनाथन एडिटर इन चीफ ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स लूमो डॉट कॉम एंड थ्रू आउट दिस ओलंपिक्स आई विल बी ब्रिंगिंग यू स्पेशल एनेकडोट्स फ्रॉम इंडिया ग्लोरियस नाइंटी थ्री ईयर रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन द ओलंपिक्स इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड्स I had focused upon shooting on hockey and on wrestling to a certain extent. In the last couple of episodes I focused on the travails of the Indians in Rio 2016. But in this episode the focus is on a legendary duo Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupathi. That name evokes a sense of awe. of pride of brilliance it was leander pace and mahesh bhupathi who rejuvenated indian tennis in the late 90s pace had obviously put himself on the world map when he secured the bronze medal in atlanta 1996 but the mahesh bhupathi leander pace duo dubbed lihesh came up trumps in 1999 in a splendid display of double stunts They reached the Grand Slam finals in all the four events: Australian, French, Wimbledon, and even the U.S. Open. They won two. It was the start of something very spectacular indeed. The Lee Hesh duo combined to win many Grand Slam titles, and they have they were the supreme doubles duo in that period. India finally had found world beaters. It was smooth sailing until 2004 when the duo who were expected to win gold crashed out in dramatic circumstances in Athens. After that tournament relationships deteriorated off the tennis court between Leander and Mahesh. In 2006 they had won the gold in Doha. but their relationship was really really strained and it was a sad day in the chapter of indian tennis when they decided that they would not be pairing up anymore the 2008 beijing olympics beckoned anil khanna the aita secretary at that time said forget differences fight for glory this had to be that moment maybe maybe the loss at Athens really hurt their pride. This was a second chance at redemption. After all, who would want to put personal differences in the way of giving glory for the country folks? So there it was. Once again, to the delight of Indian tennis fans, Lee Hesh were back again. Beijing 2008 saw Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupathi in full flow. In the first round They defeated Gael Monfils and Gilles Simon of France. The duo, the French duo in particular, were not so keen on doubles. But Lee and Hesh, they were on a different planet altogether. A sublime display ensured that they went to the next round. There they met the Brazilians. And yet again, Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupathi put on a flawless display but in the next round in beijing to 2008 leander pace and mahesh bhupathi would encounter a swiss duo in 2004 athens which i will talk about in the next episode leander pace and mahesh bhupathi had defeated a certain roger federer He was still not the Federer who was destined to be the greatest of all time at that moment. Yes, Federer had made a mark in 2003 when he won Wimbledon. In 2004, he did not make it that far in Athens, but in the Grand Slam circuit from 2004 till 2007, Federer was the undisputed king. Paired with him was another upcoming Swiss guy, Stanislas Wawrinka. Federer and Wawrinka were now going to go 
head on against Bhupati and Pace. It was a mouth-watering concept. Two great players against two bona fide legends in the doubles arena in tennis. It was a stunning display by Wawrinka and Federer. Federer had already reached that glory of magic that saw him dominate from 2004 till 2008. Wawrinka was also a solid player. In the face of these two combined destructive forces and the magic that Federer produced, Leandra and Mahesh were unfortunately defeated. It was the end of their Olympic journey. Wawrinka and Federer would go on to win the doubles gold. But individual gold still eluded Federer. Nadal overtook him in that sense. But following the loss in Beijing, things deteriorated for Indian tennis. Leander and Mahesh decided that they will never pair up again. The repercussions were also big. The likes of Rohan Bopana, the likes of Vishnu Vardhan and all did not want to partner with Leander Pace. Who is responsible for this follow? Was it Leander or was it Mahesh? We will never know. Because there has been too much confusion and too much behind the scenes activity. Leander was right, we will never know. Mahesh was wrong, we will never know. It was a sad end to one of the greatest doubles duo that Indian tennis has ever produced. But we must understand folks. Leander and Mahesh had given India great glory in the Grand Slam circuit. It was a shame that they had to encounter the luck of the draw and meet Wawrinka and Federer, two Swiss geniuses who were on top of their game at that point in time. Leander would go on and participate in more Olympics and more tournaments. After the age of 40, he would acquire cult status, winning mixed doubles, getting to big stages in Grand Slam events. But unfortunately, 2008 would be the last time we would see Leander and Mahesh Bhupati together. Yet, their contributions should never ever be overlooked. Because Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati are without doubt one of the greatest doubles duo that India has had the privilege to have. Thank you so much for watching this special episode of Sports Lumo's 50 Greatest Olympic Moments for India. As I had said, in the next episode, the focus will once again be on Leander and Mahesh. But this time, it would be a surprise element and would be the beginning of a strain in Bhupati and Pace's relationship. Press the subscribe button, tap the bell icon to know what is the story all about. Like, comment and share folks and spread the word of Sports Lumo's coverage of the Olympics. It is only on Sports Lumo that you will get these 50 greatest Olympic moments for India as well as live coverage. With that, I Siddharth Vishwanathan take your leave. Stay safe, take care.